Hey everybody, what's going on? I'm Fabian Calvo, Fabian for Liberty. Thank you so much for joining us, Trudgers of Truth. In this video, I want to talk about an article that came out in the London Telegraph about the world can't afford another financial crash because it will destroy capitalism as we know it. And I'm going to talk about that. I'm going to talk about central bank response to a financial crash. And lastly, I want to make some comments about Janet Yellen regarding negative interest rates. First, I want to just kind of circle back to the video that I did yesterday where I gave my commentary about the race for the White House uh, regarding my views and comments on the 2016 primary election. And for whatever reason, after stating as an absolute fact that I am a Ron Paul libertarian uh, in my political views, that somehow that was twisted into me being a supporter of Bernie Sanders. Let me clarify for the absolute record, which is pretty clear. I think Bernie Sanders speaks right and eloquently with respect to the fraud on Wall Street, that if big banks are too big to fail, they're too big to exist. I think the campaign finance, where you allow multi-billionaires to basically influence campaign decisions, those are views, ladies and gentlemen, that aren't just held by Bernie Sanders. They're held across the political spectrum. He's one of the few that speak about it constantly. So I like that. I've always said I disagree with him on about 90% of everything. In fact, if a Bernie Sanders was elected, it would be, in my opinion, like a Donald Trump, would be an absolute disaster for the republic, okay? Game over. He would allow millions of illegals to flood into this country. His socialist welfare programs would absolutely cripple the unfunded liabilities that are already in the $250 trillion category. Those would completely blow up, so it would be game over. The producers, anyone making over $250,000 or more, he can't even speak to what their tax rate would be. So no, I'm not a Bernie Sanders supporter, but I'm also not drinking Kool-Aid where I can't say, hey, there's a few things that I think, you know, that guy's talking about that, you know, make sense to me. doesn't mean I support his views, okay? Now, I want to get to this article. I'm going to link the article down below because it's really interesting. You know, people are upset. They're angry. In fact, one of the things that the out-of-touch mainstream media continues to either ignore or be baffled by is that candidates like Bernie Sanders and Donald Trump, really populists, are gaining so much traction with the electorate that's freaking pissed off. They're pissed off because regardless of where they fall in the political spectrum, they're realizing their country is absolutely being wrecked by inside deals, by the fraud, by the waste, by the abuse, by the crony capitalism. They get it. They, they're starting now to see it. And when you have that type of environment, ladies and gentlemen, and you throw on top of that type of environment a major economic crash. I'm talking where, you know, now you have one of the biggest shipping, I forgot the name of it, the Merricks or the biggest shipping indexes is down to 2008, 2009 levels. You have sell-offs in banks that I covered a few days ago are, 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 are hitting high. Um, you know, their, their pro stock prices are collapsing. I mean, on and on, gold today rallying as investors are kind of freaked out. Right, they're kind of freaked out. And when you have an economy absolutely implode and you have people in this country already that are barely getting by, that go from barely getting by to not getting by at all, and then they realize, wow, uh, the US can't give me free everything. I mean, in fact, in this article, it talks about how, and I believe this, this is why, yes, I get asked this all the time. Dow today is down at 15.5. I'm still holding on, again, to be clear, when I make a prediction, I'm actually sticking around. I'm not like not talking about that prediction anymore. I believe the Dow will hit, not only hit 20,000, it will go over 20,000 because what people fundamentally, they, they just don't want to acknowledge that central banks are scared to death of this kind of economic meltdown that will completely implode their current normalcy, by, their current normal. Right? Their current normal is, you know, establishment candidates, is financing campaigns and putting people into power who they want to, to be elected. If all of that uh, comes to an end in a Bernie Sanders or a Donald Trump get elected that are just basically saying F you to the system, if that happens and you couple that with the financial crash, it's game over for these central banks. In fact, a lot of these bankers 
would likely would be well advised to leave the country and like hide out somewhere. Not like preppers should be in the bunkers. It quite frankly should be the central bankers that should go in the bunkers because there's going to be people that are going to want their heads, ladies and gentlemen. This, this uh, London Telegraph article says, central banks would embrace the purest form of money printing if the economy begins to crash. Not only would we see negative interest rate policies, which we see Sweden just cut more negative interest rates, banks across Europe, sovereign countries across Europe are all now either implementing negative interest rates or they're beginning to consider negative interest rates. You had Janet Yellen yesterday before Congress saying she thinks it's perfectly legal to have negative interest rates, even though it's stealing even more money uh, from savers. But somehow their theft is, I guess, is legal. I, I don't know. If I steal or if you steal, we go to prison. But if the Fed steals, they actually, you know, get like rewarded with a little cool plaque in front of them that says the Honorable Janet Yellen. So I, it's, I know it's mind boggling. But the bottom line is, is that these banks are freaked out. Okay, and you have a really important, this is where, again, politics and economies come, they blend together. You have, the world is freaked out. I believe prior to any crash, and I think we're still a year away from it, because when I mean a year away from it, I think we could easily have events that begin to get worse, but we're gonna see, in my opinion, unprecedented central bank response very likely could be a global coordination of money printing where they're actually giving cash to people to go spend and pump into the economy. And they've done this already. If you think about cash for clunkers, um, if you think about some of these other tax credits that they do for people where they give them money hoping they'll go spend it in the economy, it will be even more than that. But it will be coupled again with negative interest rates. It'll be coupled with more quantitative easing. It'll be coupled with all kinds of insane things that make these manipulated markets go higher in hope of what the Fed's real, real hope is, which is creating that illusion of wealth, creating that wealth effect where people think they have money, they really don't, but they think they have money and that they could go spend it into the economy. When you take that and you take a political system that goes completely, gets completely blown up by one of these outsider candidates, ladies and gentlemen, it is game over. And let me just say, you know, I know there's all, wrap it up with this. I know there's a lot of Donald Trump supporters that watch my videos. I know there's some Bernie Sanders supporters and Ted Cruz supporters, Rand Paul. You know, I think the last great candidate we had for president personally was Ron Paul. Um, in the next couple of days, I'm going to do a thorough, because I know like Stephen Molinoy, Molyneux, Molinoy, uh, which I like generally, uh, did, a, you know, and I, I'm, I was listening to like Alex Jones the other day, and a lot of these people, Michael Savage, they're actually supporting Donald Trump. And let me be clear, Donald Trump has the tone of nationalism, which I, I'm a, I would consider myself to be a nationalist in the sense that I think we need to do what's right for America, stop policing the world, control our borders, stop the flow of millions of illegal aliens into this country. I'm for all of that. And I have a whole four plus years of videos where I've embraced that and I've talked about it and I've shown my support for those types of views. But personally, I think Donald Trump is extremely dangerous for those of us that believe in freedom and liberty, that don't want a tyrant just because he says some of the right things. I'm going to talk about it. I know, you know, a lot of people might unsubscribe. You know, oh well, see you later. I don't do this, do these videos to get subscribers. I do it to say the truth. I'm Fabian Calvo, Fabian for Liberty. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy my videos, please share them with your friends on social media. Thanks for watching. I'm out.